This is my fourth video in my series on how to use a Dobsonian telescope. And in this series, I wanted to talk a little bit about focal length and eyepieces and magnification. So first of all, focal length. Now what focal length is, is it is the distance from either the mirror or the lens to the point at which the light comes together in, in a single point where it all converges together. So for this telescope, its focal length is 1250 millimeters. So what that means is when the light comes down through the telescope, it hits the primary mirror and then from that primary mirror up to where the light converges is 1250 millimeters. And so the light travels down, hits the mirror, you measure all the way up, hits the secondary mirror and comes over to the eyepiece and somewhere in here is the point at which the light is all converging in one point. And so if you have a 1200 millimeter telescope, it means it's 1200 millimeters from the primary mirror up to the point where the light all comes together. Now eyepieces also have a focal length and it's normally written right on the eyepiece. This one's 17 millimeters and that's the length when you're looking through the lens it's the length from the lens to the point on the side opposite your eye where the light comes together at one point. Now when you want to focus a telescope you need to bring those two focal lengths together and so that's why you have the focuser on the telescope so you move the lens in and out until those two points converge and once they do then that's when your telescope is in focus. Now focal length is very important because we use that to determine the magnification of an eyepiece with our telescope and the basic way you do that is you divide the focal length of the telescope by the focal length of the eyepiece. So if you have an eyepiece with a focal length of 10 millimeters and a telescope of 1200 millimeters then the magnification is going to be 120 times. Now if you have a focal length in your eyepiece of 20 millimeters it's going to be 60 times. So obviously as the um, focal length of the eyepiece gets smaller you have more magnification as it gets bigger you have less magnification. And there is a limit to the amount of magnification that you can use with the telescope. Now this is based on atmospheric conditions and you know there's also a limit just because of the materials that are in the telescope, that are in the eyepiece, as well as just the limits of your eye. And the rule of thumb is you multiply the diameter of the primary mirror by 60. So if you have an 8 inch diameter mirror, you multiply that by 60 and the maximum magnification that's useful with your telescope is 480 times. So that means that you don't ever want to pick an eyepiece that's going to give you a magnification of more than 480 times. And if you do the math, I believe that's around 2.5 for an, an 8 inch mirror. That will give you the maximum magnification that you could, would ever want. And even when you get close to that rule of thumb, a lot of times you aren't going to get the best views. It's going to be dim, it's going to be a little bit blurry. And so it's only on the clearest nights and best of conditions that you're really going to want to use that type of magnification. And most things that you want to look at in the sky don't actually need that much magnification. Now, it's good to have a range of eyepieces because the things in the sky that you're going to look at are different sizes. The moon's very large, the planets are quite small. So, you know, you might have a large open cluster of stars or a large nebula, or you might be trying to um, see a binary star and, and be able to make out both stars. So you want a range of magnifications. Now, when you get your telescope, a lot of times it comes with a couple eyepieces. Right, this one came with this 15 millimeter superplossal and a 9 millimeter superplossal. And they're okay, but off the, right off the bat, I bought myself a 2 times Barlow and this 2 times Barlow allows me to have different magnifications um, more than what I would have with just the two eyepieces. So this one's 15 millimeters, I use the 2 times Barlow and it gives me a 15 millimeter and a 7.5 millimeter focal length. With this one I get a 9 millimeter and I, I put it in with the Barlow and I also get a 4.5 millimeter. So you can get yourself an extra range when you get a Barlow. Now it's important to think about it because if you have a 10 millimeter eyepiece and a 20 millimeter eyepiece then a 2 times Barlow is just going to duplicate 
that 10 millimeters because you can take the 20 millimeter, divide it by two, and you get 10 millimeters. So you end up with a 20 millimeter, and then two possibilities for 10 millimeter, and then a 5 millimeter when you divide the 10 millimeter one by two. So you want to think about the math of it and um, decide what Barlow would be best for you with your eyepieces. Now, another thing to consider with eyepieces is the eye relief. And eye relief is how far away your eye needs to be from the lens when you're looking through it. And some eyepieces you need to have them right up real close because their eye relief is three, four, five millimeters. Other eyepieces um, are made so you can have 12 millimeter, 15 millimeter, even 20 millimeter eye relief. So you don't have to get so close. And it's a lot easier to see things. You don't um, have to worry about bumping into the eyepiece so much. And then it also is very helpful if you wear glasses. Because if you're wearing glasses, obviously there's a limit to how far the glass will let you get to the eyepiece. And so eye relief is one thing to, to check out if you're looking at new eyepieces. And I do highly recommend looking into to new eyepieces because the ones that come with your telescope, while they may be good, they're not going to be your high quality, high end, or even mid range eyepieces. And um, there are a lot of reasons why eyepieces, better eyepieces, will improve your, your experience. One is eye relief, the other one is field of view. You can get eyepieces that have a much wider field of view. Now, to understand what field of view is, think about a horse with blinders on. And when he's got the blinders on, if they're really close together, you can hardly see, he can hardly see anything in front of him. So his field of view is very small. But if you move the blinders out, his field of view gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until you take the blinders away, and then he's got his full field of view. He sees the full extension of his, of his vision. And eyepieces are the same way. Some of them look at a very narrow portion of the sky, and then some are made to look at a wider portion of the sky, and they measure that in degrees. And so, for instance, this eyepiece, I can't remember exactly what the field of view is, but I believe it's somewhere around 60 degrees. Whereas this eyepiece has a field of view of 100 degrees. So that means that if I had another eyepiece with the same focal length, 20, that had a more narrow field of view, I would be able to see less than I can with this wider field of view. And it's just really cool to get to see close-up views with um, a, a wider field of view eyepiece. And so I would look into that as well. Now, the best way to improve your viewing experience with a telescope is to improve your eyepiece collection. And you want to get various different magnifications to look at different sized things in the sky. Now, I've expanded my eyepiece collection quite a bit. So I started out with these three eyepieces, which were made by the same company that makes my, my telescope, GSO. And, you know, they're, they're reasonable quality. But I bought these two German-made eyepieces. They're made by Bader, Bader Hyperion. And they are really awesome. What's, one thing that's so great about them is they have expander rings and so when you put the expander rings in the eyepiece it actually changes the focal length so between these two eyepieces I think I have about six different options for for focal lengths so six different magnifications so they're very versatile eyepieces they also have um, special thread on them that I can use to uh, to attach a camera to it the other eyepiece I bought which is absolutely my favorite is this Explore Scientific and it is a 20 millimeter eyepiece and it has a very wide field of view so when I'm looking up at the stars I just see so much more under higher magnification and it's really amazing just to kind of look through the sky with this eyepiece so I highly encourage you once you've gotten used to your eyepieces that came with a telescope to think about expanding your collection and getting some um, more sophisticated eyepieces that will be much higher quality. So that's it for this video about eyepieces and focal length. I know it was very confusing, but maybe you can sit down and do some of the math yourself and try to uh, figure out different ma magnifications with your telescope based on different eyepiece focal lengths. And in the next video, we're gonna actually talk about the conditions that you should be going out and doing your astronomy in and um, how to choose a location to do it. And 
Uh, then you'll be just about ready to go out and, and view.